Welcome to The House Around the Corner. I'm your host, Trisha Zemer, and I'm here with the lovely Leanne Fitzgerald, executive producer of our show. Welcome, Leanne. Thanks, Trisha. Now, you sent us all the way to Wedderburn to investigate a sheep shearing school, which normally is a tradition you think of that's passed from father to son. How did this school come about? Well, there was a need in the local community, Trish, for um, more sheep shearers to be available for the industry. So Wedderburn Community Centre decided to put together a pre-accredited training course and to build the skills of new people to enter the industry. You don't think this is um, possibly that the art is dying out of sheep shearing? Look, maybe a little, but really it was a chance to engage some more people. The young people have um, taken to it really well and surprisingly quite a few young women have got involved. So is this a way for them to become part of an age-old tradition? It is, Trish, and not only does it offer them the prospect of work locally, but to work right across Australia or even overseas. We're going to meet two of these lovely young shearers. The shearing industry is changing. The Wedderburn Community Centre here in Wedderburn actually has a certificate degree now in sheep shearing. It's also changing in the fact that women are joining the industry. We've come up to Wedderburn to not only meet and greet the students, but three very extraordinary women who are joining the industry of shearing. My dream is to be a Jillaroo and travel around Australia. I love Australia, it's the best country. And I'll meet a lot of people along the way and work on the land for the animals. I'm not worried about shearing. Uh, I know there's a few dealers out there shearing and pretty sure we can give as much as the guys can. So yeah, it's not, not really about strength, it's about technique and your footwork and stuff like that, you don't, anyone can do it. I've seen a really small person do it and wouldn't think they'd better drag them out, but yeah, it's all about footwork, technique and yeah, and where the sheep is, so it's not a big issue. I wasn't nervous coming here being a girl, even though there's lots of boys and stuff, because I've always gotten along with boys and it's they're good fun. There is a lot of us out there now, although when it started probably 20 years ago they allowed women into the shed and I started myself 12 years ago and uh, had a little bit of trouble at certain sheds they wouldn't allow women in but now you see many many women in the sheds doing yeah all sorts of jobs. We get a lot of um, young women coming up and wanting to be shearers and they make very good wool handlers and hopefully go on to be wool classes as well. And the sort of things I'm looking for is to whether it's got a good staple strength and I'll do that by, by pulling it and giving it a flick with my index finger. And what we're uh, trying to ascertain there is whether it will withstand about seven to nine pounds um, pressure. It's good basic training in sheep and wool. And because so many of our farmers are old, they um, need to be replaced in the workplace. And if we can get a group of young, enthusiastic shearers that can work with contractors and farm, local farmers, some of those employment shortages will be overcome. I was doing work experience in Wedderburn with the family and the people I was staying with, family friends, said that there is a shearing course happening in Wedderburn in a few months and would you like to do it? So I said yes and I'm loving it, it's good fun. Meet a lot of people, diff people shear different ways and learn a lot from having a big group of people. This foot just there doing all the work, isn't it? Hard back against these front legs, toe under the shoulder, keep that shoulder off the floor. We come up through here, that's controlling the sheep there, isn't it? Shearing school runs on normal shearing shed hours, so 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the afternoon. They come in to us at 7.30 and do theory until 9.30. So they are taken through modules of the sheep and wool handling certificates with the 
with the trainers. Then they have a smoko, morning smoko, where our volunteers um, provide them with sausage rolls and sandwiches and cakes and scones and so on. And then it's out to the shearing shed where they put into practice um, a morning session where they're shown an, a new skill. They then are worked one-on-one -on -one, um, perfecting the technique they've learned. They stop for a lunch at 12 o'clock, that's from 12 to 1, and that's usually a hot meal provided again by our volunteers. So then the afternoon is a long afternoon of shearing and learning wool handling skills. So it's um, by the end of the day, some of them will have learned um, a lot of shearing techniques. There are others who will end up working as rouseabouts in shearing sheds and they are practicing the, the shed skills. But by the end of the time, all of them are expected to be um, competent in all aspects of um, shearing. We have the support of contractors out there and also the local growers with sheep and yeah they'll um, tend to put on a learner stand or get them wool handling first and then have them shear a sheep every now and then until they get more confident and better at it and then away they go. Yeah my funniest moment has probably been kicked in the face although it wasn't really funny but in the end it was. Got a laugh about it but yeah getting kicked and scratches all over my arm and yeah just mucking around with all the boys. I'm a left hander so I'm learning to shear right handed so that's very interesting. Sometimes I forget my footwork because I'm like ah, <laughs> trying to concentrate on using that right hand instead of the left and all I want to do is pick it up with the left but I've heard it's way better to shear with your right anyway. Most sheds are set up for right handers and yeah it's, it's a bit difficult picking up for a left hander. I've done that and it's kind of backwards. I think it was in 2003 um, we, we started the shearing school. I think this would be the tenth one that we've run um, and this, this is a quite a handy property to run the shearing school because it's on the main highway, it's close to the town it's, and it was in response to the fact that there were uh, insufficient shearers in Australia to, um, to shear the sheep flock and we're very proud of the fact that um, we've put a number of shearers out into the Australian shearing industry. Mm. Um, Ray was telling me he was at a shearing shed the other day and there were two graduates of our school there, both shearing 40 sheep a run, which is a very, very good sheep. Alicia Burke. Mary Marty. I really enjoy working in the team environment. It's really good, and the people here at the shearing school are pretty much into it too. They get in there and help you, and the shearing instructors are fantastic. Like really really good and you, know, you can just pull it out of gear and, and just give them the eye and they'll look at you and go oh, okay and come over and give you a hand and make sure you're right with it and every now and again you get to a bit where you get a bit stuck and you know. and then the other students who help you too they go oh no no do it this way Mary or yeah you know, just pull it back a bit just move that foot and yeah just it helps heaps and you know, we really work together as a team I reckon. Just around the corner